Soap is wild. More people yeah, need to need watch to, Soap. I need to watch this. I need to watch this like as an adult. Yeah, no, it's really funny because I feel like it was like always on Comedy Central as a child, and like I I watched it, but I don't feel like I appreciated it nearly as much as I should have. Um, and like now I'm just like, no, I need to do a soap rewatch. <laughs> Yeah, I, I feel like I want to do a soap rewatch and then, like, never, ever talk to anyone but you about it. Like, just like, like how my friend, uh, my, my buddy Graham, who I do the podcast, uh, the Homicide podcast with, is, uh, did a rewatch of, or did a watch, I don't think he'd seen it before, of Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman. Mm. And, like, he would just be, he would be like, I'm getting really into Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman. He's like me and me and my friend Mike are watching the whole thing, and we're we're I like we're learning all about you. Mary Hartman. Okay. I totally did like did not send the video to you. I was like, oh totally oh, the about video was on. I and everything. Oh, I would have I would have told you if you were starting to play. Don't worry. Do do. There, there we, we go. Are. There's Derby. Oh, look at that guy. That's a good look. I like that. <laughs> I like a good look you know. Guy. I really appreciate when people do the Onion Knight look without going full Onion Knight. I think that's neat. Mm -hmm. No, I like I like incorporating people incorporate bits and pieces of it and not um, not so much the whole thing because it is it's like you're not you're not Siegfried. I don't care. You're not cosplaying as Siegfried. You're just not. You're not him. No. Um, but like it makes some interesting. You get some interesting pieces with it. Um, like I like the the bad pumpkin like soldiers in um, Elden Ring that basically have like the helmet, but then they're just kind of like naked and ropey and gross looking. <laughs> um, that's like that's that's pretty good. Um, yeah, no, so that's that's what you want. Let's say hi to the people. Oh, I let's forgot we got the good Dranglake leggings now. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. All right, here we go. Hey everyone, and welcome back to You Have a Friend in Majula. It's me, Dia. I'm joined with Derby and also my fabulous co host, Trevor Strong. Trevor, say hi. Hi everyone. Hi Dia. Hi Derby. This so, is so exciting. We're 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 like this is this is the final days of our of our time in Drang Lake. It really is. It's the final the final days of Drang Lake. Um I guess let's just take a moment to just look at this beautiful like yeah, we haven't looked at the water in quite a while. Sea. Like it's so it's, it's like this is the like, this is the cool like I remember like when I played like Dark Souls I came in I'm like oh ew, yeah like let the, the land of Twix that's that's cool that's neat I I know about that I know what that that's referencing that's liminality right there we all like liminality <laughs> we um, do we love liminal when, spaces when Twitter. things are strange they're liminal <laughs> yeah hallways are liminal spaces that's 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 all that's all I know. <laughs> Oh, I really, I love the pushback against the use of liminality. I really appreciate it. Even if like, you know, sometimes I do feel like, you know, if the, if we are in a liminal space, is not everything liminal? And then, yeah, is this not, is the world currently not a liminal space, my man? I feel like people need, people need to be more uh, aggressively pedantic. Like I, I, I remember in college, um, it was a, a girl I was trying to date. I don't know what I was thinking, but the uh, th with this uh, commentary. But the uh, th we were talking about uh, she was reading Austin or something, and it was, you know junior year, so we were learning about like theory and stuff. And she asked, she was like, "Oh, it's like a panopticon." And I said, "Ah, oh, yeah, panopticon. That's a window." And I, I meant it as a joke, <laughs> but then I <laughs> I just kept doubling down on it. And now I sort of believe that a pet opticon is a window. Is a window. <laughs> so I feel like I feel like we need to get to a point where more people do that. Like, if 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 someone says that something's not liminal, then you just have to say like, well, maybe uh, it is liminal because everything's liminal. It's true. Um, I still I do I still like you know I just I fucking I love the things betwixt showing up here and then we get the things betwixt in Elden Rings. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, and it's just like I, that was you, that was a moment where I had a big pop, and then it wasn't really anything like the thing just put the Swix, but it was cool. It was, um, it's like uh, the weird shit that floats around in um, the weird little bits of ash, I guess, is what we're we're we're, we're witnessing here. Um, yes, I think it, so. That's better than the the the, the Erd tree shit. I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna. I'm sorry, I'm gonna shit on your game. Uh, Mama's been drinking, and uh, she's gonna <laughs> shit on Elden Ring. 
Uh, I think yeah, I agree. I, I don't I don't mind the old the elder the um Erd tree stuff, but I, I will say I think the ash is the coolest yeah, no, kind of thing. Cool. It's it's great because it's like it really is like I don't know. I feel like they they got a little too cute by half in some ways, and that like the ash and the the feeling of like burning and loss are like really the central themes of these games in such an easy, neat way. Like I don't know why they went away from that. Yeah. And I mean, like you got to new, do new things, and you gotta, you gotta try, and you gotta, um, you know, you you gotta um, do things like um, including black people in your games, which uh, Elden Ring does. If 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 it's only like the one voice actor thing, no, <laughs> I guess um, I'm trying to think if there are other other. Is the 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 one uh, woman who's like. Naftali sort of the adopted daughter. Yeah. Yeah. Like, is she? I black? don't know about her voice actor. Um, I know. Oh, yeah, that's a good I point. Know, I sure know. Either. I know. I know. I my big boy. My big boy. My mate. Um, uh, uh, he's his voice actor is. Um, mm, okay. But, but you know, uh, Final Fantasy 16 is not going to have black people in it. Um, and everyone's blaming Yoshida for that, and they should. They rightly should. <laughs> However, we also need to associate. We also need to remember that Michael Christopher Koji Fox is totally responsible for all of like the really just vile shit that happens in Final Fantasy's English translation. So I think since you know Yoshida does speak through him often, we probably should lay some blame at his feet too. <laughs> I do think I think I'm maybe we can tonight. find another. Damn. No, it's good. It's good. This is nice. I, I I think also we can probably blame other people too because I get the feeling Yoshida worked about like six hours on Final Fantasy 16. Like he showed that he showed that uh, that like schedule of, of time and it was like I, I forget it was like right when Endwalker was about to come out or came out and it was like. 38 hours, like, I'm sorry, like 48 hours a week on Final Fantasy 14, and there was like a three hour window where he worked on 16. Like, I think he just walked into the room and sort of checked some boxes and left. Um, yeah. So probably we can say he gave too much creative control to Christopher Koji Fox. Well, we, we also, well, I mean, like, we, we, we do know that Christopher Koji Fox, like, did, like, like, like every, all the interviews I'm seeing now is like, Everyone talking about like and people who don't by people who don't play fourteen, and they're like, oh well, Michael Christopher Koji Fox co worked on the English script, and the English voice like the script came first, and so you know it's all gonna be great, and it's just like you guys have not Ooh. even played fourteen, you don't know this, you don't know how many instances of Horsens is gonna show up in <laughs> Final Fantasy sixteen, but it's gonna happen and it's gonna be bad. We're gonna have like some terrible you know prostitute big scare quotes around that arcs. Listen, we we are, we can we can work through the complexities of Christopher Koji Fox together as a community. Uh, by complexities, I mean the way he ruins good games. Yeah. Um, he's also the vocalist for Sokin's worst uh, early aughts uh, hard rock indulgences. True. But goddamn, that sea is beautiful. And the it rocks, is nice. the jagged rocks that pop up through it that are like, you know, they're little teeth. They are. They're like they're like they're like, they're like a maw. Like this this little island of Drang Lake is like a fucking maw, and it's just like this like just this this water that doesn't really seem to be moving. Like it, what well, I means like it, it seems to be moving, but it doesn't seem to have like you know. Um, mo like forward motion. It's it's kind of like, right. It's undulating without moving. Um, but yeah, it is interesting. If you like train your eye at one part of it, it is really hard to actually like feel like it's moving. No, they did an they're, incredible. They're, they're, like, they're, I'm sorry, whoever yeah. the people responsible for this, this vista right here, right here. None of the other like that shit's good. That over that shit over there. Okay, I gotta pan slowly so people don't like. Fuck we it. love it. We love it. That's a great. That's, that's incredible. That is like the model train set of my dreams back there. But this shit right here is so phenomenal um it really is great shout out to the like people I, who did that i think what's really cool about it too is like we talked about this on the first episode i think we, we like spent a lot of time talking about majula and it's all still so true like majula is like the perfect kind of like thematic core of the game and gets everything mm -hmm. right here and it just it's 
Ah, such a good space. No, like, there is no objective correlative the way Majula is. Like, <laughs> yep. Is like, like, this is what fucking T.S. Eliot was talking about, motherfuckers. <laughs> Um, yeah, you can use that in your classes. Yeah, I like this, this one little this one little like berg out there. That just like rocky outcropping, it's just like right, yeah, um, like that one. It's just like because it's, like, it's the only thing like it, you know. It's like its own little weird barrier island that happens to just be like a little craggy spire. Of a mountain. The most the most obnoxious person you've ever met in your life is saying, "I was I was a planned DLC," uh, just to just to ruin your day. Um, but it isn't. It's just cool. It's just a choice. Yeah, is that to be Heidi's over there? I feel uh, like I played no, this. No, Heidi's game. Tower of Flames the other way, isn't it? Is it? Uh, I thought it was. Because that takes us over to like the forest and blah blah blah. No, no, no that that's, might that's be the right. That might, yeah, that's Heidi's Tower of Flame over there. You're right. But like, also, yeah, it doesn't yeah, yeah. really look like it. It suits. It fits it quite well enough. Well, Hold it's on. it's uh, what's cool about it is like it's it's so far away. Like Heidi's Tower of Flame is so, like when you're there, you're in it, you know. And this is so like, distant. Sort of gives it a nice. Oh yeah, that's definitely it. Yeah. Can't zoom that's in cool. with these, but that's okay. That's, yeah. It's it's interesting because I feel like, okay, so we we do we go, it's like over there, and then we go down, we go through un underneath all of this. This is this is this is the theory, right? Like in theory, like we're traveling <laughs> under here, and then we end up arrive there. And, and as we know, it always works perfectly. And in, like um... no. <laughs> there's, there's no, there's no physical way that's possible. No, no, it all it's all real. It's all real. But I wonder like that's that that fucking that thing right there. That's so cool. Um it reminds me of like in like the Goonies when when um God, is it Samwise Gamgee? Is it Sean Astin? Yeah, I, th I think and it he's is got, Sean like, Astin. The 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 doubloon and he's like he's like the rock, the lighthouse and the hotel all match the doubloon. And like <laughs> It's just like this weird little rocky aircraft. I'm like, oh my god, it fucking it matches the doubloon, y'all. Something's there. <laughs> it does that. It matches the doubloon. Yeah, it matches the doubloon. God, There's I was that just part of the back of the of the thing there that has like nothing on it. That's cool. Yeah. I like the little the little. Oh yeah, patch yeah, yeah. The, 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 back the, there. The, the 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 dude back there. God, what if this well, no, is the, the being yeah. like this is our farewell episode, and then we spend the next two episodes like just talking <laughs> just, about this, just forcing what through is our way through. The letters are worn beyond recognition. I don't know mm. what that's for. Because this one, yeah. is, the one over here is all the deaths. Let's check right. how many deaths. Okay. 830. 377,000. So it's a million. Yeah. 543,377,830 deaths worldwide. So I guess this, I think this is just for the PC version. Or maybe this is. I would think so. Yeah. So for the PC version, we've had nearly half a billion deaths. That's fucking beautiful. That is beautiful. Oh, interesting. Would you like to uh, Would you like to know something interesting? Yes, I would uh, love to. <laughs> no, uh, the um, so in the thing, this is the the letters are worn beyond recognition. Apparently, uh -huh. I found this on on the Dark Souls Two Reddit. Apparently, had it for nine years ago. Uh, there is an actual phrase in the Portuguese translation of the game. Uh, os gigantes cruzaram os mares, talvez para voltar para casa, which translates to the giants crossed the seas, perhaps to return home. Bro, what? That's the, o that's the only language that has it, though. Every other language doesn't have it. That is so wild. And so apparently, one thing they pointed out is apparently the... Portuguese translation wasn't available upon launch and was added in patch 1.04. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting. Like, the it being newer might be relevant. That's fascinating. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I didn't expect to find that much on it. No. Where is my home girl? Oh, God, the, her outfit is so good. Wow. Look at her helmet. Oh, yeah, I liked it. Like, um... Uh, I can't remember what, which, what helmet that is in this, but um, I'm glad we did kind of bring back the weird. Um, in Elden Ring, they've got the the like, the the fucking like laminal tear or whatever the fuck it's called. 
Um, yeah, yeah. They yeah. like the little Quicksilver bubble face mask, um, which I always appreciate. Oh yeah, no, anything that make you look more like um, that one enemy in Mega Man, who uh, pops up and has like the one big red eye. Right. What does the ring of the embedded do? Gain surprises, but take increased damages. That is a dick fucking Dia ass move to put that fucker on. Yeah, no, that's Gain good. Gain surprises. Um, what does it do? I don't know. What are surprises? I don't know, but we're, we're, we're rocking it. Um, so, okay. I think it's enough reminiscing about Majula. We've got some... We've got a, a an Elium Lois, um, which is also I'm I'm never I'm not gonna say a Leum. I'm like I'm I'm gonna I'm resistant to it now. Um, yeah, why why not? It doesn't sound right. Elium Lois. Um, We're not British in America. We say Ilium Lois, like we true. say aluminum. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't um, I didn't realize that. So this is Elium Lois, frozen Elium Lois, frozen mm. Elium Lois. Um, this got outer wall, abandoned dwelling, and an inner wall, right? There's two more. We haven't we haven't unlocked these ones. We haven't they're question marks. Um, mm. but then we've got Grand Cathedral. That's where we ended up last time. We fought over we fought a, a, a prodigious big kitty cat um, that was magical. Um, oh yeah. And then we the, ended the, up the, the pet. Yeah, we fought we fought Arva, the king's pet. The king got a pet named Arva. Uh, that's colonialism for you, because there's no there's no tigers na native to frozen Malayan laws. They brought it back from India. Um, so we went up to the Grand Cathedral. They're they're Episcop they're um no they're, they're, they're Anglicans there um, on account of um so the Anglican Cathedral on account of Henry VIII. Um, so we gonna go to Grand Cathedral now and uh, see what happened after we cause we ended there. We didn't do any exploring. Um, we wouldn't. We didn't do a John Smith of that. No, 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 uh, no. Uh, Sir Walter Raleigh. Uh, we just. Uh, we 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 <laughs> said hello. We killed the king's cat. Um, that was the last of the cats because uh, the, we went to India. We killed all the great cats. That's what. Uh, that's what the kings did. And uh, then we came back to and uh, we 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 kept the one for the king, and called it a bat. And uh, now we're gonna go to the Grand Cathedral, and uh, see what happened there. <laughs> I like I like how that that accent was part. Um, uh, it was like it was like several famous actors, <laughs> kind of like mixed together. That was great. Hey, we're in the Grand Cathedral now. Oh, look at this guy right here. He big. Uh, he oh, is. Oh big. look, it's us. There we go. Oh wow. I should do I okay. should do the whole the whole the whole show this way. I'm gonna talk like this. And <laughs> it's gonna, gonna be tell so Jackson, distracting for me. I'm gonna tell Jackson to watch this one, and Jackson's gonna be so mad. He could be like, you know, it's it's like 15 districts of of London that you're in right now, and none of them at the same time. You've invented a whole different way of speaking as a Briton, and I'll be like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's it's. <laughs> I'm I'm almost pinning it down. It's like it's 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 Russell Brand meets um, uh oh god um uh DCI Lufa. Hang on, does um, that motherfucker have a two faces? He's got two faces. Look at that. He oh regular no. Jane's face charlatan, isn't he? He's gonna show us some good movies. <laughs> god. Um, so yeah, this, this guy's interesting because we got this. We, like this is like we, we come in like we okay. So we we killed the big fuck off cat. Yeah, we're just right? we're we're gasping from that battle. Uh, oh, and we, we, oh, let we me get the let me get the frozen Ilium boys. There's no one up these steps. Killed a cat. Nothing's up here. We run up these steps and then we come in through here and it's like oh thank God it's like it's not all frozen bullshit anymore. And there's a there's a bonfire. We're gonna light the bonfire and then there's this big motherfucker. He's got these like little priest robes, and he's got his he's got this, this curled staff at the top. I um, like the curled staff a lot. There's a like it 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 feels oh. a lot like a. Uh oh, now it's gone. Uh, it's it it's it's it it's that way that like Tolkien feels biblical because of course like that's his reference, but like it's sort of like perfunctory. It's almost like yeah, it's it's western. Um, so you, it's like it's that odd sense of like fantasy being in the shepherd's crook somehow. Yeah, no, it, it is. It's like, it's like it's shepherd crooky, but it's also like it's like a weird bent asparagus. Yeah, it's very, very, um, 
Yeah, this is how you know a plant person because I'm looking at it. And I'm like, vegetal. I'm like, oh look, there's like a number of nodes. You could you could propagate that out. And it's just like it's fucking this is a statue idea, but it does. It's I, got, yeah, it's I, got those, those those very distinct growth points um, that's curling in, and it's got, it also has like a little, um, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's 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 got like a little bud at the end right there. Um, well, and now that you mention it, I do not. Uh, I'm not entirely sure that um the uh that it has only two faces i was gonna say um, I, I i'm not even sure that's a head anymore i don't know what i'm actually looking at it's something yeah yeah there's there's something going on there um hmm yeah i don't know i don't know what's going on with that statue anymore but that's really interesting it's a cool one it's really cool yeah so um but we're here um Two hands. There we go. Nope. There we go. All right. So um, I've been playing Destiny, <clears throat> and I've been drinking. Um, so I got to remember how we play this game. Don't worry. It's just like Destiny. Oh look, it's a frozen thing. This oh, is frozen. Oh, and it's not a frozen mimic. And this one's a lot. A... Are you sure? Are you sure? Because there's a lot of guys out here. Well, that remember that dead. one time it was the mimic that was like growing. Yeah, no, there was, was the frozen. mimic that was like it was like frozen mid transformation, and that sucks. Yeah, because I'm thinking about how we're gonna have to go back in there. Uh, but here's just a big door, just a big normal door. It's kind of a, a fancy, you know, it's yeah, a it's decorative nice. door, but it's it's a double door. We're gonna open it up and find out what's behind it. More cathedral. Oh, good. Well, I was I was worried it was just going to be a big black uh, room that said the end. We're gonna RP walk now. Dude, everybody's going to RP walk into the cathedral because God knows what's in here. Da, da, da. God does know what's in here. It's a cathedral. Do you think he does? Maybe he doesn't because this feels pretty forsaken by God right now. Yeah, this is this is kind of dark. I think probably God does not know what's in here. God yeah. God wants to. Or maybe God God knew what was in here and he was just like, no, fuck that shit. Oh, what's the message? What's the message say? I, I can't take this. That message was left by God. You know, um, sometimes I feel like, what if bounce. God was one of us? He would leave messages like, I can't take this. Oh, we can talk from here. To, to, to what? To who? See, there's this interesting kind of like, you know, there's that, there's whatever's going on up there. Let's, let me see what's going on up there. No, it's just kind of, oh, wait, is that a person? That might be a person. Very small person. Um, it's a duty. Uh, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to have a fixed party. God uh, damn it! For that. <laughs> just it does look just like it though. Unhappy. I haven't. <laughs> I haven't logged into Final Fantasy in forever because I decided I'm like, well, Destiny's free. <laughs> it is. No, Destiny's it's Destiny's free and it fulfills the grinding itch. <laughs> so I'm like, I feel like the, the 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 ebb and flow of games you do and do not log into, not just you, Dia, but you, the the gamer in general these days, which uh, you know very much includes me. Um, is is I don't know. It's a very sort of natural kind of flow. Seasons. Yeah. Seasons. Okay. Let's 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 talk. We should talk. Yeah, we should talk. Yeah, I let's love, talk. I love these these. I love the uh, the ice. Doing ice looks so the, good here. Um, the roots thing because you know we have the natural growth thing. Blah 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 blah. We've talked about this for two fucking games so far. Um, you know, whenever you see <laughs> this weird root system shit. Miyazaki is freaking out about the natural world and and yeah. and, and yeah. chaos. Like this is chaos. This is Miyazaki finds the natural world to be chaotic, and 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 like you know explosive, and it it gets its tendrils. It, it grows these tendrils, and the tendrils are like spiky fingers that wrap around things. That is that is what he communicates with this. In case you missed that. Um, he read that one Andrew Marvell poem and now is just obsessed with the idea of vegetable love. It's, it scares him and he doesn't like it. It's so funny because, like, I think about, like, you know, like, you know, people like, like to talk about, like, Miyazaki and, like, you know, oh, uh, the romantics and, oh, uh, the Victorians. It's like, Miyazaki is terrified of the natural world. The natural world. Oh, yeah. The, the natural world is a poisonous swamp <clears throat> to him. Like, I think Miyazaki is, if anything, more so a Victorian than a romantic. Like, oh, a Victorian. Wow. You see Tennyson's all through this. Like this is this is extraordinarily Tennysonian. One hundred percent. Yeah. No. Um, 
All right, let's talk to the whatever whatever that out of the station way. we're talking to. <laughs> to think Alva could be bested. No, Alva. <laughs> or Derby. This man <laughs> is Baron. Yes, because the king is dead. Cursed by the old oh, okay. chaos. Oh, well, there you go. That's why. <laughs> it's not the king. And the people fled in fear. Until our lord, the ivory king, came. My dear lord, a most true king. It was with his magnificent soul that he built a Leon Royce and contained the spread of chaos. Oh, it's demon souls. <laughs> but the chaos would not be sated, and the king gave his own soul. So this is interesting to me because normally when you have, you know, okay, we have a we have a, a land that is corrupted, uh, you know, uh, like you know the 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 Fisher King, his land is dying because he's been wounded and he can't heal. You know, he can't heal, the land can't heal. Um, all of Denmark is 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 you know is is poisonous vegetation and rot and. And because, you know, the king was murdered by his brother, blah, 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 blah. Um, and, and Hamlet is batshit. Um, <laughs> Don't blah, blah, blah your way through Hamlet. I will, I will blah, blah, blah my way through Hamlet because it's fucking No. <laughs> Everyone already does. Look, that. if... <laughs> if um, I'm not going to take it if you slander Hamlet. It's bad if word. The Hamlet's Northmen, good. <laughs> if the Northmen can blah, blah, blah its way through Hamlet... <laughs> Okay, Fort and Bross can fought blah 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 his way through Hamlet. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, but Fort and Bross blah 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 his way through Hamlet. Um, yeah, that's fine. He's allowed to. God. Um, uh, yeah, like so anyway. We, we, sorry. There, there is if if you if you are not if you are not familiar um, with literature before the eighteen hundreds, um, a big a big thrust a big through line is that the 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 relationship of the king and the land um and that, that they are one and that the relation the, the king's the king's health um physical spiritual mental etc um is reflected in the the land itself um you know uh in excalibur shit goes bad like if you watch the watch the one one Watch the fucking movie Excalibur. It's a fucking incredible movie. Um, just do it. Nicole Williamson deserves every bit of credit he has ever been given for how good he is in that movie. Uh, Helen Mirren, queen of us all. Yeah. Um, seriously. Just fucking watch Excalibur. It explains so much. Um, but like, you know... Lancelot fucking Guinevere. The king's wife is an adulterer. The land is not good. War happens. Bad shit happens. The land's not profitable. Uh, people cannot grow crops. Things like that. These are all things that happen when shit, bad shit happens to the kings. However, yep. here, we're not talking about the king. Is the, the king fixed this. But this land was just beset by chaos. Chaos was yep. in the land. And the king gave his life to try and stem it, but chaos could not be contained. And so this is where we're at now. I like this a lot because there's a, there's a really sort of like common Shakespearean through line in his tragedies where, I mean, his tragedies are like the comedies are where you want to go for like the, the cool politics. The tragedies are all <laughs> extremely hilariously conservative. Like every, yeah. Every time in a tragedy, I mean, they're they're beautiful. I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a you know I'm a soft touch for Shakespeare, but like they're extraordinarily conservative. Also, like you know, Hamlet, Hamlet, or Hamlet's probably the least. But like you look at something like I don't know Macbeth. Basically, it's like you know, become ambitious or or go outside of your lane or try and do something different, uh, un unseat the natural order, and eventually uh, you're going to cause a lot of really good people to die. And boy, that was that was a real mistake, wasn't it? Um, 
it's all about like maintaining the 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 sort of flow of aristocracy but like what's interesting about this is like this is the tragic result in shakespeare but it it turns out like you know the tragedy actually is the only way that Ilium lois could maintain its like existence as a, as a place yeah no it's so fascinating because and this is the thing like you know okay and you think about like 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 sleeping beauty Sleeping Beauty, the whole kingdom goes to sleep. Everyone goes into stasis. Everything goes into stasis until, you know, um, you know, the young princess who finally got her period gets laid. Um, <laughs> we were all waiting so We were just so waiting for Aurora it. to get dicked down by, you know, the right Prince guy. Charming. <laughs> um, and, and, like, you know, but there, there's no people. There's no real people here. The people fled. They, they, they were like, oh shit. You know, our we had this good king, and he tried to control. He, you know, he built this beautiful place, and he tried to contain it. Um, couldn't do it. Didn't work out in the end, ultimately. And he gave his life for it. And we, but we could, we had to piece the fuck out. And so, yeah. but the kingdom is still preserved. It's almost like it's waiting for someone to come in. But like you know, normally those people, those people aren't dead. They're not in stasis. They're just gone. The king bought time, basically. It sounds like for everyone to flee. Yeah, like it. It. It sort of sounds like. I mean, the atrocities were there. The king built a land despite the atrocities, or or perhaps without. And ultimately, the chaos. I mean, like I said, like half jokingly, but it's true. Like it is. It is the story of Demon Souls, where you like you start Demon Souls, and it's like, yeah, like this land. Uh, this land is just. Outside of it is a, a huge chaos thing, and uh, no one no one bothers to, to to go outside of it anymore. It's impossible. Um, and you know, inside the the sort of like you know the the normal part of chaos, there's a kingdom and a king who gave everything to to make that happen, and he's you know corrupted at this point. But like you know, th this in this case, we don't even get the sense that he's corrupted. It's almost like a a, a kind of um, uh, depressive. Um, mournful giving up like a like a um like a failure well, he a tried failure. yeah i mean it's the thing is he yeah. tried and you know he did everything he could it just wasn't enough chaos right. is more powerful than the spirit of one good man you know this man this man's soul was capable of building all of this shit like this right. this fucking tremendous cathedral was like you know the work of this man's soul, and in the end he he burned his fucking soul. Like just was just like okay, I'm just gonna use it all up, kill myself, to, you know, devote my entire essence to trying to stop chaos, and it didn't work. You know, the man who yep. could build, who could who could create this entire kingdom, was unable to ultimately using his very essence, his every bit of his essence, was unable to stop the flow of chaos. Um, and, and that's wild. Like that's like such a like, profound fucking like, you know. Well, it's it's great. And like the I, I think like the the part I love, the part I love about it is there's also this sense of, um, you know, like what counts as the soul. Like there's a you know we, we've gone a whole game talking about like you know soul soul souls, and in this case it's like, oh yeah, like he gave his soul, and it's like does that mean he like you know completely gave himself over and like you know became a, a shell of his former self to save this kingdom or does it mean that he actually gave his actual soul and then you start asking like okay like what's the difference <laughs> like is there is yeah. there some sort of actual like distinction there that's important it's it's neat it's like it's a it's a really good story well that's like the interesting thing is like you know his he built this with his soul well we, we you know we know that you could build you you can literally you can build, build things, things with souls, with souls. You know, you can we have take a, we have a, a blacksmith and, who does that. Yeah, like so. It's like when she first says that, it's like, oh, he built this with his soul. Oh, damn, wild. And then she's like, no, 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 no. Like this is just, <laughs> he, it's just his soul, like built all this shit. Like speaking, I'm being of, metaphorical. Yeah. <laughs> and then she's like, oh, but literally, he gave his soul to. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, oh, damn, the soul. It's like you know, it's this big profound thing. That's, it's, it's, there's so much we can do with the soul. Um. Or the other thing I was just trying to remember what uh, I thought was interesting um, is, by all rights, this is a good king, right? Like this is this yep. is 
This is the king. This, this is, is the one good king. This is what you want a king to do. You want him, like, when shit's bad. You know, he comes in. He's like, okay, we're going to make this shit work. And you go, okay. And then, you know, he does everything he can to try and make it work. And ultimately, he can't. You know, the, the what he is fighting against is just too pa- demonstrably powerful. It is, you know, it is chaos, e- eternal and endless and just unceasing. And no one can stop it. But, like... I guess you can freeze it. You can you can mm-hmm. slow it. It's like it's like, you know, what is it? Um, you know, you can you you can take like, you know, tainted meat. Like, you can freeze a virus, but it doesn't actually like kill it. Um, you know, it just like mm. it just Yeah, yeah, tainted meat frozen is not going to make a good meat. Yeah, like you can't you can't freeze meat until it's better. Um, but like it's it's almost kind of like what we're doing here. It's like he's frozen this thing. Like maybe is that like these are are these still growing? Ultimately, are these like growing yeah. like roots? Like Will they at some point? Yeah. Like or did it, well again did... like it just it just like it just gets me to that that feeling of of demon souls again. This idea of something in the middle that has been held stasis, and it is like this this thing that everyone's like okay well good at least we have this thing in stasis and the knowledge that you have as the player or as the person viewing it or like as the reader outside of the the knowledge of everyone else is like this thing's gonna break out of stasis at some point it has to yeah like at some point everyone's gonna like die off and you're not gonna have wardens and it's gonna it's gonna fall apart yeah um so who do we think we're talking to do we think we're talking to a milfanito is this the child of dark that was beloved of all like, all these kings have been you know have, have become besotted by a child of dark uh who we know is like these kind of like f- like these these female shards of nido it's like nido nido was destroyed by the chosen undead and like his soul i guess his essence whatever 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 nido was fragmented and was reborn as these kind of children of dark um now you're telling me we, yeah. that there might be a storyline where Miyazaki is not saying something nice about women. Now this is a surprise. Well, I'm not necessarily even saying that. I'm just like, Oh, I know. I'm I'm just kidding around. Yeah, no, no, you're right. Like it is it is it's interesting that they're daughters, right? Like the the idea of you know, and actually to to sort of take back what I said there, the 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 fact that the fact is like primogeniture in souls games are like the, 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 the conveyance of um, uh, knowledge always seems to go through daughters as opposed to sons. Um, which I mean, you know, you think about like the, the witches in uh, meta chaos in, in, uh, in dark souls uh, one, even like, even thinking about Gwyn, the only person left is, is Guinevere. Um, and the 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 illusion of of the sister, right? Like uh, women Gwendolyn are the and, and Guinevere, yeah. Gwendolyn, the, the yeah. Illusion. Sorry, not Guinevere. Yeah. Gwendolyn and Guinevere, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then like you know, the, there's the there's the um, I, I don't know. Like it, it, once once the sort of male primal knowledge is broken, um, what comes next is 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 feminine knowledge. Mm-hmm don't know what to make of that yeah no it's i don't i don't you know especially like you know um like the the witches of isolate that's interesting because like you know they are the daughters of chaos you know um they're they're the 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 witch of isolate um like i guess fundamentally kind of becomes the bed of chaos um <clears throat> yep <laughs> and you know she is consumed by chaos itself um uh, in, in 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 a way, um, you know, there's what happens to the Witch of Isleth is contentious, but ultimately she is the essence of the of, of what the Witch of Isleth is, is consumed by chaos, and she has these daughters, and then like it's interesting because like are they her daughters? Who are they her daughters with? Are they biological, or are they you know is like she the head of the coven, and these are just like you know, um, you know the younger the younger initiates of her coven. Um, mm-hmm. you know, who how, who makes up this coven be, beyond the witch of Isolith and the daughters of chaos? Like it's, you know, there's there's lots of questions there about the, the nature of the hierarchy there, but then <clears throat> it is these these two, 
you know, these powerful giants that create daughters. Gwyn, with the exception of Gwendolyn, you know. And also the mysterious son. And Gwyneth. Right? Well, it's like, so, so, you know, Gwyn, you know, Gwyn has his, 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 his bloodline that is, you know, uh, a son daughter and then, you know, a, basically a fertility, you know, goddess daughter. <laughs> And then a and son, isn't there the third daughter who's like not appearing? Fuck, yeah, right. He's written out. Uh, is there a third daughter? I don't think there's a no. There's he's no, no. I, I'm a third he's, son. Sorry, yeah. I, I uh, the second son, third yeah. third child. And then he has you know, his and it's his firstborn. His firstborn is the one that has been you know you know his statues are all crushed and they're gone. Mm-hmm. Um, and then after the firstborn, who was a betrayer, we get these two daughters. Um, you know, kind of scare quotes around that um, because we all know Dia's contentious feelings. My about contentious them. feelings about Gwendolyn, Gwendolyn and and <laughs> Miyazaki's, you know, uh, Miyazaki's concept of the feminine as um, you know uh, weak and frail and things like that, and associated with mysticism and the moon. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It really, I can't think of one other example. Just, just kidding. I, <laughs> there's a thousand. But the, 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 the children of Nido all end up being daughters. And but it's interesting because they all seek out these kings. You know, all our examples of them, um, for the most part, we, except for the 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 Milf and Nido we meet in the shrine of Amana, who are just kind of there and right, failing. right. Uh, don't know what to do with, with them, honestly. They're they're really they're sort of they seem like shards of Milfanitos, like a sort of yeah. Because the, the like right, the sort of the partial is, souls are the Milfini- and all. They're the Milfanito. Are the Milfanito children of dark? I don't know the answer to that. I don't think the game is explicit about that. Um, no. Uh, so yeah, so there's that. Um, but these 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 children of dark, um, they all seek out kings. And it's interesting because it seems like for the most part, they're not, they're not bad. You know, they're not, they're not evil. They're just drawn this way. Um, <laughs> you know, we get, you know, Nishandra. Nishandra is, she is, you know, quote unquote, a corrupting influence. But we don't like, aside from the fact that she ultimately is a big, scary, neato you know. <laughs> She's, yeah, she, she looks pretty scary and, yeah, and hurts yeah, us. Like, you know. She, she, you know, everyone is horny for her on Twitter, but she's also a giant skeleton lady. Um, so there's that. I see, I see no lies. Yeah. You know, that's just, this just, this is the nature of it. Um, you know, everyone has sapphic feelings for, for Nishandra, but she's also a giant, terrifying skeleton lady. Um, we get the one, um, you know, uh, that goes, that, that fell within with the king in the the sunken the sunken king in um the first dlc and okay she's a weird flower lady but ultimately she is protecting keeping this weird you know cursed dragon locked away um, right you know the dragon wouldn't fucking die um, and it's filled with poison so we he needs to be locked away oh we had to open the door and then we were like oh shit there's a big poison fuck off dragon well we got to kill this guy um, well and once again we're the we're the realists in the situation derby's the realist in the situation he says like well you can chain up this giant fuck off dragon but it's gonna get out everything gets out everything gets out yeah so we just need to put it down we need to we need to yeah. you know um well, and that's that's Fuck also the story of, of all these games, right? Uh, like, like yeah. the choices you make at the end of Dark Souls One. It's like you can choose to keep assuming that you can like hold off the, you know, hold off the the dawn, or you can just say like, well, you know what? It's it's over. Let's just admit it and do the next thing. Yeah. Um. So that's like that's a big that's a big interesting thing. Um. But then we get um the 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 the, the Iron King, the old Iron King. We go mm. there, and that one's a kind of a tragic story. You know, it's just this woman. You know, this 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 this. You know, she goes looking for uh, a king, and she finds you know, uh, kind of just like you know, ruin. <laughs> but she's like beloved with right. him, and she she gives herself up. She becomes Ash, um, you know, for for this king, and then here we have whatever's going on here. You know, also again, the king is great. He's a good guy. You know, blah blah blah. He built all this. He tried to save his people. 
Um, try to stop chaos. He couldn't. Then he gave his gr tremendous soul. Um, all these these DLC have all been about um, these, you know, these women of death, these aspects <laughs> of death, um, who have found a king that they've really f like fallen for. Um, yeah. And none of the kings really seem like bad dudes. They all seem like they kind of in you know. Whereas Vendrick seems like a piece of shit. Well, yeah, Vendrick and uh, and Vendrick's uh, friend, brother, whoever, right? Like, Aldia is also awful. Yeah. So, like, yeah, th throughout the entire game, we get, like, okay, yeah, these people are are terrible. Um, but then in these in this instance, it's like, well, it's not all monarchy that is terrible in the Dark Souls universe. Yeah. Um, even if, in fact, that's the way it is in the real universe. But also, at the same time, none of those monarchies can last. They're unable mm -hmm. to persist. Um, right, exactly. You know, even 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 having this at these fragmented aspects of death literally with you, the like the, you know, which which you would think would be quite powerful, there's there's they're unable to persist. They cannot, you know, maintain themselves. Oh, and I think if you if you're like if you're thinking about like, you know, oh the you know like, you know, is this is this one the most powerful? Like Ilium Lois is the, is the most perfect example of this, where it's like. Yeah, look, you 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 actually um th this is like this is a a servant of death that in fact is not even visible anymore is 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 vanishing. Like the question, oh, I didn't think Ava could ever be bested. Like, you know, turn back now. This is the the stalwart kingdom and it's like, well, it's it's not a stalwart anymore. It's not as undefeatable. Yeah. All right, let's see what else she has to say. The king was drained of vigor and plunged into the chaos his heart. I mean, that's what happens. We've all been there. Its leader lost. I remain here to contain the chaos, honoring my lord's wishes. Perhaps one day he will return. From what? There is nothing here. That I curse it flame. I have but one wish. That my dear Lord might be free from that unspeakable chaos. I have the strength to help him myself. But perhaps one such as you. <laughs> Though I am great voice know, acting love it will you lend me your strength 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 yeah of course uh, yeah i think that's an easy choice for derby to make i think mm -hmm. let me open the path to chaos came to kill chaos and please <laughs> all right do all you can cool alsana's seal is undone and the winds of alam lois are ceased no more winds no more winds many of oh, that lois's faithful knights followed their lord into the chaos But not one of them returned. The king's dutiful subjects waited patiently for his homecoming. Capital H his. Yeah. But it was too long a wait to bear. The knights of a lay voice await a widow leader. One who would guide them into chaos. So this is really interesting because, um, uh, so spoilers, there the boss fight for this has a gimmick, um, and part of the gimmick is, and this is the game communicating this very obliquely. Uh, uh, there are knights. Um, I think there are four in total uh, that we can find. Um, 
who will aid us in the final battle um, that have been frozen basically you know the opposite of the opposite of Gwyn's knights who were all charred um, these ones are fro these ones are frozen and I think now they're unfrozen we just have to find them uh, interesting to, to lead us but like he he you know the king had his faithful knights that went down with him to fight chaos and they were unsuccessful and now it's going to be up to us as as is as is tradition in dark souls games yeah. everyone's failed now it's up to us yeah you know interesting many of a lay on me, but not one of the kingdoms no we, we learned about that we, we know thanks, thanks one, one um but like look at look behind us Trevor, do you see what's happened? Oh, it got sunny. It got sunny. And the ice Now we can away. light those torches. <laughs> yeah, we can light those torches. This, this ice went away. We can open this box. Oh no, what about what about the what about the mimic? It's out. No. We got the vessel what did we get? shield. The vessel Ooh. shield. That's Look at a cool that. Thing. That's a neat That's looking thing. That's a sweet shield. Shield depicting a priestess of Elium Lois emanates a certain heat that heightens the abilities of its bearer. The priestesses who devoted themselves to appeasing the ancient flame are no longer. Now, is this the, the, the cursed flame that she mentioned? She doesn't like the flame. She doesn't like the... They, no, she doesn't like the, the cursed flame. Um... Which I think that was that was that was the thing that was like yeah I think the the flame of chaos was the 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 accursed flame the ancient flame that no one likes. Let's see what's like out here. Wow. Yeah. It's so much nicer. It's 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 just a kind of snowy kingdom now. But look how big this kingdom is. We can see it now fully. Like, you know, this is this is a huge place. We were just doing a tiny like a fragment of it. Wow. It's really neat. Like I, I, I really love the the way that they did this area because, like, I I found Elam Lois really, really compelling when it was in fact like snowing and a mess and all that. And like, I just I I love the way it looks when it's not too. It's just like such a such an interesting and cool um thing to pull off, right? Like, it's such a hard balance to be like, I want this to look cool when it's completely obscured and i also want it to look great when you can see everything yeah and like it's the thing is like you know the big thing with Anne orlando right is you know we have this big cathedral that Anne orlando but then and we've got the kind of the tops of buildings there but there's no mm -hmm. ground we right. can't see what's what's you know it's it's Anne orlando is so high up blah 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 blah, blah. um it's it's it's, 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 a, it's an illusion of you know a space but here we see the ground. We see little trees. It's like you know, it's all it's all there. Like this is a real physical place in a way that Anne Orlando is not. Right. Um, this was built from the ground up, uh, whereas Anne Orlando is almost like you know just kind of exists uh, somewhere in this uh, above space. But yeah. So now. Yeah, this feels much more solid, like the undead burg almost. You know, in a, but like grander than the Berg, obviously. Yeah. No, this is this is this is like you know, like this is this is you know the Anne Orlando that was like you know was built by a man, not a right, god. Right. Right. Yeah. Once again, we go back to the king, his great soul, but not anything more than his great soul, right? Yeah. God damn. Why did I ever choose anything different? Well, we all have to kind of. I know. Go away from the things we love to find it's out true. why we, we love to, them. We so to, it's, yeah, exactly. Sword and you are basically Jack and Diane, in my opinion. Uh -oh. I turned around there. <laughs> but yeah, so now we've got. We've got this whole place to explore again now that there's no. Uh, there's no there's no wind making everything cold. I love that it's the wind that makes things so the frozen. winds of Ilium Lois, which is again why it felt so true to kind of. I don't know the way that um, cold feels and like in we were saying in like the city or, or anywhere it's like. 
it's cold because it feels like utterly like taxing and and brutal um and the wind is is part of that right like that's that's the yeah. that's what makes it that way the ladder over here you go up indeed this see what's up this way oh look at that visions of gorgeous view it so is there we go and yeah. both ways it's true The North Warder hood, robe, manchettes, and trousers. Oh, okay. What's that about? Let's, let's, let's learn about the North Warders. Let's learn about the North Warders. It's that pointy one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hood of a Ferocin sage. Ferocins venerated the god of war, and sages who led warriors into battle were called North Warders. North Warders mm. earned their title only after completing a great journey of great hardship. After which they would be worshipped as oracles of the war gods. Extends duration of spell effects. That's kind of neat. That's uh, a really cool uh, like. effect. Yeah. Oh, that's a neat little. Oh, it's it's pretty effect. cool. Yeah. yeah, I like that. Uh, let's see. We got the North Warder robes. Is anything different? Uh, no, same stuff. No. Um, it's just kind of. That's cool backstory yeah. about the 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 Ferocins. The Ferocins, yeah. Um, our buddies, the Ferocins. Um. Where is my? There, there, it's right there. Because um, Vangarl is a Ferosa. Mm. He was he was a Ferosa knight. He um, uh, suggests he was not unlike a mad beast on the battlefield. So we get these, these these Ferosa knights who. Um, but he was not a North Warder. No, he was he was though he was a warrior. He was he was you know. Uh, he was he was big upped by a, a North Warder, presumably. Um, right. So that's a thing. Hmm. Come on, buddy. There we go. They're a lot less scary when you can see them. But now this has happened. Oh! Look at this. Yeah. Oh, they make a scary sound when they, they die. They do. Um, yeah, so they're awake now. Um, in a way that... Did you freeze me? You look so cold when you're frozen. It, it, it's really, it's, it's. Wow. It's yeah. Really geez. Something. How rude. <coughs> Get out of here, dog. It's funny the way their animations look like. Where they're where they're like far away from us and walking up the ledge, like their animations, they like kind of take a weird little dive. It's like the uh, the game yeah. is like trying to figure out how do we render this, you know, the distance <laughs> and, and and the scale and adjust it in in the way that makes them like realistic for where we are at. Um, Not a surprise that it starts to wear down a little bit with the non bipedal. It's true uh, characters. They're the hardest ones to get, right? It's, yeah. So over here we've got golden fruit balm, dried okay. root, and a retainer step. Oh! <laughs> oh, wow! Yeah, stick up behind me. That was a straight-up trap. That was. That was good. Retainer staff. What's that about? Yeah, there you are, just thinking about your stuff. I know. I'm just like, we got retainer staff staff wielded by the retainers in the cathedral city long ago the retainers attended to the priestesses but with them gone the retainers were left to wander frigid elaim lois without purpose so this mm. is interesting because we've got like the two you know we, the we, we unfreeze the kingdom the first things we find are um items that relate to 
kind of supportive members of you and know, supportive society. members who like the fire. Yeah, right. Like this is this is we we've only heard from the the one person we've heard from hates the fire. Yeah, but it, it, it seems like the society was built around the fire. Really? Yeah, it does. Be wary of stealth or put destroy required. To have. Okay, can't go up here. This is this is just this trap. It's just designed to fuck us up. Um, which is good. God bless video game. Oh no, we've lost all our cover. I uh, see. That's bad. That's that is not good. bad. That is not good. Um. Oh, and there's there's this. What an, there's, these are. I love the I love the double handed knife. Yeah, and it's like almost like it's it's like it's it's, it's pr prayerful almost. So cool. It's like a it's like an icicle. It's not even really like a. a, a I question calling it like a, a proper knife, right? Like it's. Yeah, no, it really is like an icicle. Like it's not surprising to me that it hasn't dropped as a usable weapon, although it probably is. But like, if it never did, I wouldn't question that either. All right, come on. Let me get the weird the animation breakdown with them too. <laughs> it's it's a lot that's going on, Alien it, Boys. It's true. I would I would never judge it, but I think it's I think it's interesting. It gives us this really un, un you know this eerie, inhuman quality to it that like. Come on over this way, lads. Oh shit. Son of a bitch. Oh, oh no. Right, over here. Hold. There we go. Okay, that's one. Dude. Cool. There's a here. Come on, come on over here. Yeah, I'm over here. It's funny because Ilium Lois itself seems so much bigger, but the area that we've actually traversed seems so much smaller now. Right? That it's, it. it's very interesting the way that that worked out. I was just thinking that too. Like, it did. It, it has this effect of like really compressing space. Um, at least yeah, like I was I was looking at it and thinking like are we gonna go through all that we did and I was like we almost have <laughs> what what in the Shit. world this little come on over here come on no get out of the tunnel asshole <laughs> no. Fine. Yeah, what'd you think about that? Get him. You wouldn't get out of the tunnel, so I had to hit you in the face with but, the good shit. But sorry, I was too excited. I, I cut you off. What were you saying about the space? Oh, 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 the, the um, it, it has effect, like, you know, it, it, it literally, we are literally making more space. We are making more room. And yet it has this effect of, like, completely compressing uh, the space that we have traversed. Yeah. I got these dudes like really. Oh, they're really don't hard. Don't stagger. Yeah. Damn derby. Get out of there. I think that's initially why you went with the <clears throat> the longsword because we didn't have any stagger. Yeah. There we go. What is is my shit breaking? My shit in danger of breaking. Let's use a repair power and see if I've got some weird that weird glyph up there. And yeah, what is that? I don't know what that means. I love. I do love. I, I appreciate that Dark Souls never really <laughs> explains to you what any. <laughs> um. Worried about that glyph? You should be. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna tell you what it is though. Good luck. It probably has to do with your your coldness, because you're you're slowly losing that color. Yeah. Let's see if it. Yeah. Once it all goes away, maybe. They don't know what that means, though. How odd. Okay, come on there. 
No, I just I like guess my feet are still frozen. That's <laughs> It's still there. Yeah. Maybe it's as long as you're actually in the uh, snow. 77. Like, all my stuff is, is I just used a repair powder, so it's all full and good. I don't know what. Don't know what it could be. Hmm. Is anyone over here? No. Okay, no one's over here. It's that guy, he's going to keep doing that shit. There's another one over there. Of these little cranky, those little cranky pants. <laughs> Let's see. Can we go in here now? <gasps> look at that. We can go in here now. Oh, look at this. Yeah, I think we should. We should. We should go this way first. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. This is this down here. Excuse me. Going further I for, down is the correct. For choice. sure, thought that was going to go up. It's funny because I wasn't, I had no idea, I didn't, I was like really like kind of like, I have no idea what direction this is going to go. Oh, whoa, what? Oh. Uh. Oh, Jesus. They're like little. Hedgehogs. Terrifying snow. Yeah, they're snow hogs. <clears throat> Don't touch them, Jesus. they'll hurt you. <laughs> yeah, wow. I think I have that Knight of Thorns uh, philosophy going on. It's interesting though because they're God, they got like weird little rabbit ears. Like God, those are Ugh. weird looking. They're busy eating. Golden these fruit guys. bomb. Okay. So, do, do, we're real, real oh, cold. What else is over there? There's another item there. So, was there another item? Where? Yeah, uh, just on those bodies. Okay. Did I miss it? No, just the monastery charm. Um, yeah. <laughs> I like watching the frozen color face. Yeah, it's, it's... It's pretty neat. Um, this, That's God, look here. at this, oh. this is, this is cool. We're down the ground. Yeah, I didn't think we'd the, get here. I, yeah, we're, we're, we're on the ground. And I love that we've got one of these, like, I love, like, when you get this, this kind of, this, this, it's like you know the the the, the terrible hallway of columns mm -hmm. in in <laughs> evil architecture. It's just like it's the fucking worst, but it's also really cool. God, these fucking weird. I don't like them at all. They're gizmos. really scary. No, they're fucking terrifying. Twilight herb. That guy just kind of stayed where he laid. Oh. He just got cold. Who can blame him? Yeah. yeah, I see you over there. Come on, you want to come at me? Come on. God, the way their little hands are and everything. They're just Ew. Oh, they're all different sizes. Oh, I hate oh, it. Oh, it's so good. Those are the best. I want one. I want a plush one. Miyazaki, bring them back. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, they, we they don't didn't get, get anything. their due. We don't, oh, the dark spirit of Hexer Nikolai. Oh no! Where the f okay? We're it's Rasputin. Where are you, Nikolai? This is a cool place to get invaded. Like having like that shit go on there. It's very cool. It's, this is that's good. Oh god, this is this is. It's a shame it's not. It's a, it's an NPC. It would be pretty pretty neat if you were invaded by. This I would mean... be a fun place to 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 make the like you know how like, there's like various like places where everyone kind of decides this is where the Fight Club happens. Yeah, this would be a fun fight club. That would place. be a fun. This would be a fun place for Fight Club to happen. All right. Hexer. This almost feels like a uh, not to date myself, but this almost feels like a Golden Eye level. Um, excuse me. Like, well, I guess date ourselves. What, it, what is? Oh Jesus! Oh that yeah. There's Hexer Nikolai. Hexer Nikolai, why uh, did you do this to us? You piece of shit. That guy's real scary. Yeah, Jesus. Go back in here, fuck you, said Nikolai. You want you want to come into Mar our world? Okay, fine. Gonna have to find us. But like, what 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 the hell was like the weird snow elder oh, there god? He is. Oh Jesus, I hate what this. The... I hate this so much. That's really scary. 
that's <laughs> that's some like 20th level like floor floor like basement fucking shows up and instant kills your entire party and, and whoa um but he was apparently pretty weak okay well you caught him from behind yeah it's he true was cool though yeah no it's like a crown of sticks yeah he was like a he was like a frozen wicker man come on hexer nikolai Fuck your couch. <laughs> Alright, well fine. He's gonna just wait up there. We're gonna kill this guy back here. <laughs> yeah, get him! Old growth bomb. Oh, he's Is Hexer Nikolai just making these dudes? Oh, maybe that's it. Is that is that his power? I don't know. What just happened there? Don't know. Wither tree he got his branch. weapon. Yeah, that's interesting. Oh no, these dudes are just over here. These just this is just a terrible place full of these guys. That's cool. And that guy just shows oh, up behind it. you. Very exciting. Yeah, wow. Okay, well here's a door and I'm heavy now. Door does not open from this side. Okay, great. I love that. Oh Jesus, I hate that. Oh no, god. Trevor, I hate this. It's really, really stressful. It really is. I was really funny because, like, I, re I was like, I don't, I didn't really remember Ilya. <laughs> it's, it's like, I was like, dude, dude, okay, you know, yeah, we're gonna go and we're gonna do the thing, and then like, you know, next episode we'll, 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 we'll probably like meet the boss, and then. Ilya Lois is huge. It turns is out. Huge. Oh, there's Hexer Nikolai. Hexer Nikolai's throwing out. Okay, Hexer Nikolai so screwed up and and got got on the ground here. Well, I like Hexer Nikolai's getup. I might just have Demon Souls on the brain, but. But for whatever reason, but um, he reminds <laughs> Fuck me you, of the Hexer mad. Nikolai. Ooh, he, was he reminds me of like the Mad Monk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, he does have Mad Monk vibes. But he's dead now. He's dead. He sure is. His and this is like a big door that we can't open, but it's cool. Big. It's a big gate. Look at that. See, it's a big old gate. I see it. So we can't do anything. I like that. You know, gates that fuck you. We're out of Estes flasks, so. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go up this uh, ladder. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take one last hit of a life gem. And we're gonna go up this ladder. We're not gonna, we're not gonna heal beyond us. We're just gonna see what we can do. Oh, oh no! <laughs> fuck you, buddy. Okay, there's a. There's a Someone chest else right here. wants to hurt you. Yeah. Oh, Someone no, else wants to hurt me. Them. Yeah, they do. They wanna hurt me real bad. But you know what? Bolt stone. Stone. Put lightning on some shit. No, there's nothing you back building there. a lightning like weapon? End. Good news. Here's a here's a room. Miscreant. Charmer <laughs> had hurrah for friend. Wow. Mary of liar. Oh. What is this guy? I don't know. Wrecked is what he is. He tried to trick you. He's patches. Yeah. That's interesting. That patches. He's like a, it's the weird little light man. Weird little light man. What's that about? I don't know. Or was that a friend? Was that one of the knights? I don't knights? think so. They killed one of the knights. I don't think you killed no, one of the knights. That guy me. was definitely gonna hurt you. Yeah, yeah. He was definitely he was mystery wall ahead. Let's see. Nope. No. There's not. There's never an illusory wall. There's never wallhead. an illusory wall ahead, but there's Ooh, a lever. A lever. We love to pull levers that open big gates. Let's go! No, I would climb the ladder down. I don't think that fall's gonna you don't, serve you, don't you think, well. I don't 
I think. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. What about this one? Well, that fall might be okay. Yeah, that fall's fine. And then that fall will be okay. Yeah, there we go. Well, let's see. There's, there's all these blood stains back here, Trevor. Yeah, I don't, I don't love that for us. Look but... at this. It's like a, it's a, it's an icy cave. Big old I like icy, the icy cave. cave a lot. And then there's. There's that down there. There's that down don't there. Jump. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna jump. I feel like when we go down to the middle of a big open space like that, after a long winding corridor like this, we're gonna run into something just big and nasty. I'll this is just feels like the run up to Manos, right? In, uh, yeah. In, in the first, in yeah. So here we are. DLC. Oh, look at that. We we jump down here, and there's no way back up. Well, that can't. That's fine. That's normal, that's fine. right? Yeah. That's just how these games are. That's okay. how life is, really. Life oh, it's a frozen is. lake. Those are really safe. Yeah, those are really historically quite good. And there's skeletons. Um, what? Oh, what? there's Job of the Hut. Large club plus eight. Oh, j Jesus. Oh, <laughs> yikes. Homie. Run. <laughs> You know what? Fuck it. I'll heal because I'm killed this motherfucker. I was gonna say, are you like? Are oh you my really? god! <laughs> what was that? That attack? That attack animation was incredible. Holy so this shit. is some sort of seal. Am I supposed to understand or a a walrus? That attack animation was something. Wow. There we go. Took care of that. <laughs> this is. This is truly one of the strangest areas I've this seen. And, oh, look, he space. dropped that. He dropped that item behind you. Oh yeah. He what did he drop? I'll go check in a second. I'm so excited by what he dropped. The Ivory Warrior Ring. We're gonna we're gonna a Twinkling Titanite times two. There we go. Yeah. Um, okay, so that's that's there's nothing that. These way. people could not handle the. No, they could not handle that. They couldn't figure out just just hug his tail. That was difficult for them, Trevor. Hope he we doesn't do that cool flippy that. thing. I respect it. Yeah. I understand. Okay. Well, so that was... Oh. Oh, no. This is how we die. I was going to say, this This might be too, This might be it. <laughs> All right. I, I have to know. I have to, to, to go forward and see what further is. I have to make it to the, to the end place. of this. What? Yeah, what... What a strange, strange zone. This is like big, um, like the fishing village uh, at the end of uh, Bloodborne vibes. Yeah. Where, like, it's just like, yeah. it's very weird and like very winding and like, okay, what does this say? Shortcut ahead. Okay, well, let's. let's... I hope so. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, yes, there is. Wow. I'm glad we went that direction. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> but the shortcut ahead means that we're gonna end up in a place there's where things more are bad. yeah look at these guys oh my god they're they're are these are these giants um one i feel like they're alive like weird, giants one guy's got a weird thing in his chest that's glowing these giants the are guy. gonna hurt you i think you think so i, I don't know maybe Can we go we can't go through there i can't target them there, there. Oh wait, no, I can, I can. I can't, I can, I can't target them, but. But you sure can hurt them. Yeah, I can hurt them. Oh, that guy's oh, mad boy. though. Oh shit! Everyone's mad. We know what we're gonna. Trickle pine resin. That's neat. Oh <laughs> shit! Well, <laughs> there's the first death of the night. I think. I think it's actually like it's, it's midnight now. Um, <laughs> I think there we go. I think we get the what, one. What a run! What a we got We have to go back there next time. We oh, are we, we wow. We're back here have at the Grand Cathedral. So this is this is that's it. There we this go. This is it. We have to go back to that place next time. I really need to see what, what it's is so in funny there. because like I'm thinking about it now, Trevor. There is so much to this game. Like this this, mm -hmm. D this DLC is huge because okay. We went that direction. There's still the whole other, like, there's that one cave that we went through the one time where we have to light torches, but the wind was blowing too hard, so we couldn't light the torches. We still have right. to do that. 
there's, there's the chaos area. There's the chaos area. There's whatever is up. Remember, because like there's that one that little yep. house, and we could go up there, and then we could go over, and then we had a, we dropped down. And there was a bonfire. Oh God, and there was you're right. Section. There's that whole section. There is so much to this fucking DLC. This game is never going to end. We're going to be doing this for another like month. It'll no be, easy. It'll be summer before we get to Dark Souls Three. As it should be. This game is massive. I like. I I truly had no idea. I thought I knew. I thought, um, yeah, I, I was like, I was no like, okay, idea. yeah, I knew we had to find them. I knew, like, I was like, I was like, okay, yeah, I know how the boss fight works. We got to find the four knights. But they're like, it's not that hard to get to them. No, it's fucking endless. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. No, it's it's not just about them. Like, there's there's so much more. <laughs> there's so much more. Wow. What a game. Um, all right. Trevor, Ooh. where can the people find you? Um, I podcast over at No Cartridge. That's, that's pretty much where you'll find me these days. And I, I tweet over uh, at Hagelbon. So, no cartridge, Hagelbon. Links are in the description. Links to buy Trevor's book are in the description. Buy Trevor's book. Um, he, Trevor quotes me in it. Trevor talks about my ideas in it. And I blurb it, which is which is fun. Because I didn't know when Trevor asked me to blurb it that I was going to be reading a PDF that was all about, you know, some of my shit. Um, it would have been it would have been kind of like I, I would have been a great selling point to tell you that. But also I felt like if I tell you that off the bat, it might color your opinion yeah on. no you gotta you gotta you gotta just like let me be it had to be a surprise that. also now that i know you better i know you, you like surprises like it's that, true so. i like surprises uh you can find me at d Lucina, uh on twitter uh at youtube and on co-host those are the places where you can find me those are the places you should look for me um and uh you're already watching the youtube video so you probably know that uh you can also do that on <laughs> yeah. patreon um so yeah, and the Patreon links, those are in the, the down too. Uh, subscribe if you can. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel or tell friends, tell people, retweet the videos. Uh, you know, uh, it really helps people to find the things. And that's why I do this mostly is so that, you know, so people can find it and, and enjoy. Um, yeah. And so thanks to everyone who does subscribe and who does share and tweet and all those things. Uh, it's great. Uh, thank you for the support. And uh, we'll catch you next time where we explore even more of, of, un, of thought-ass Alea Mlois. Alea Mlois is not really f- is unfrozen. It's more like when you put, like, you know, you had, like, the hamburger patty in your fridge, in your freezer, or, like, the chicken breast. It's really, like, the chicken breast. Like, and you pull it out, and you're like, okay, I'm going to thaw this in the microwave because I just need to make something for dinner so people don't starve. And, yeah. and you hit the, like, the, the weight defrost, and you're like, okay, yeah, the chicken weighs – you know, 1.8 pounds, you put in the one point, and it's somehow like, you know, the chicken's like still frozen in the middle and the edges are a little cr- like, you know, cooked. And you're just like, what the fuck did I even do here? <laughs> this is, this is an atrocity. This is an I, atrocity. Yeah, no. This is, this is the bad decision. And um, we're going to go find that mimic. We're going to make bad decisions. It's going to be great. I cannot wait to find that mimic. I feel like that mimic is like, we're, it's finally gonna get to live its dream of like of being a mimic, and it's it's so exciting to me. I'm yeah, I'm I'm, I'm really here for it. Um, yeah. So remember, you've got friends in Majula, and we'll see you here next week, hopefully. Bye. Bye. Look at that guy. So oh, good. Oh wow! Like fucking Jester Thomas or whatever the fuck. That is a really good build. I love that. It's like it's sort of like it's like a what you would have expected someone to think the Joker would look like in a movie before there were any movie Jokers. Like, what, what would he look like? I'd be like a jester. He'd be cool. He'd be a shield. <laughs> so sweet. Remember when Harlequin was a fucking Harlequin?